Hey everyone, this is how you exchange fiat for NIM using Changely.com. The first step is of course to go to the website, link in the description, and then select buy crypto visa. Next, by the way, the minimum amount is 50 US dollars, so that's how much we're going to be exchanging. Next, we'll search for NIM in what we're exchanging to, select that. Next up is enter our public wallet address, always double check that. Next step once we see that that's all good and then we get to double check all of our information before we confirm and proceed with the payment always double check okay we're gonna pay with visa slash mastercard and once we click that it'll open up indicoin.com where we'll get to put in the rest of our information so 50 us dollars that looks correct next we're gonna type in our phone number real quick then our full name along with our date of birth and of course, you have to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. Next, we'll enter our either credit or debit card information. So first is the card's number. Next, when is it valid through? The name of the holder of the card, its full name, along with the CVC. And then we can continue. We will need to verify one more time before proceeding. And there we go, the transaction is now going through. And if we scroll down a little bit and then select go back to Changely, we'll be able to see our history. And if we click on the, the latest exchange, which was for an equivalent of 50 US dollars in NIM, if we click on that, we'll be able to see how the transaction, the exchanging is going along and we'll be able to see live at what step it's at. So I found that pretty nifty. There we go, it's completed. Now we can see the final amount. We received 100,000, bit over 100,000 NIM. So now if I head over to the safe, where my account and address is at, I'll be able to, you'll be able to see the NIM which you just received, in this case, 100,992.39. So I hope you found this video useful. You can check out Change at the link in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.